talking about ocean spectra. So let's start with a geometry. So ocean spectra. Let's start with um, let's try to have a shape. Let's go with a box for now. It is our box and it will be 10 by 10. Let's make this one 2. And here we'll have flip boundary. And flip container. So the container goes to the box. So this is our box. Here, particle separation and make it two. And this is bound gravity, density, and viscosity. Now we connect the flip container to the flip boundary. So let's have a look. And in the boundary type it's a source so the box is a source and boundary velocity will be smooth pressure will be chaotic like splash scale velocity normal compute velocity from deformation let's leave it now we had flip solver and disconnected and have a look nothing what we need to do remember we need to go to the water line and activate the water line now we have the water okay <coughs> let me check here initial surface I want to see where is the fluid behavior where is the narrow band part, in a vertical narrow band so if we close now our surface is full so it's here in advance enable but if you want to make the narrow band like uh, one or two or three how, how how deep it is maybe from here oh. okay so this is our water line now it's a head spectra ocean spectrum and ocean spectrum evaluate let's use the preview grid and check it let me make my box a little bit larger just to accommodate more detail like this okay now let's view it here in the wind we have two type let me play it while we talk so this is the old mod uh, model and this is the new model so have the swell and the fetch here this is the old one this is the new one so let's play with it while we talk so this is the direction leave it at zero this is the speed how fast and chaotic it will be so we'll go with four and this is the swell minus one that one and this is at zero one we are going all with the same direction so I keep it like this the fetch per kilometer and the chop okay see uh, Edge very smooth, very big. Okay, let's give it 
at its default 300 <coughs> now we were, where we will connect this node so we can affect the wave because if you look at the oh sorry if you looked at, at the solar bar we'll go to the first frame Set. It's completely calm and quiet, no motion. We're not great. So, if you look here, the source, the container, the collision, and the boundary flow. This is the fourth one. We take it and we add it here. see let me exaggerate it so I can have prominent wave let's see now this is the velocity velocity driven let's take pressure driven and see Increase the particle separation to five. Okay, till now we don't see anything. Water regulator light should not be bound to recommendation. Pressure band. So this is where we stop. So we need to make sure water line is on. Let's use the pressure here. And here we are using the pressure. And here if we look at the grid. Where is the grid? The grid. Let me make it a little bit smoother. So TMA. Let's play it. Speed. Go down with the speed. Something like that. Now. Okay, we connect it here, but if you play it, nothing will happen. The extra step that you need to do is the following. Remember the container size. It's 40 by 20 by 40. Okay. Here, you need to go to, to uh, Ocean Evaluate, to Volume, Service SDF, Velocity, so Service SDF. It's on, velocity is on, so we have the velocity volume and and uh, for the hydrostatic pressure, if we are here on velocity, here on velocity, no need to turn it on, but we are with temperature with, uh, with, what? with the pressure, we'll turn it on, okay, the size now should be greater than that size 25 and 45 and here you need to make sure it's by size but it worked with me so let's view now so if you look closely the boundary is five meter extra Make it two. Okay. So it will inject the velocity. We make it sixty, eighty. See, it's expanding. So here, need to make it like eighty two. I will increase the resolution a little bit. Let's make it 0.25. And I will save it for a couple of frames. Let me increase my RAM and come back. So here it is, I can see the flip solver in just the uh, 
first volume from the spectrum and created these lovely waves that we can add white water on top of it so hopefully uh, this demonstration was uh, straightforward let's recap it so we have a box in this box we find the container size so this is the container and this is the particle separation we use the flip boundary we use pressure and we make it as a source and after that we added our flip solver in the flip solver we activated the water line so we can take advantage of the narrow band and then we created ocean spectrum and we use the new model the TMA and we modify some of the settings then we added an ocean evaluate and we activated the grid so we can have this chaotic wave to make it a velocity volume field that can affect the flip solver we go to the volume we activate the surface SDF we activate velocity we activate hydrostatic pressure because we are using the, the, the pressure we make sure our container is bigger than the boundary of the flip solver and the more sampling you have the more detail you will catch then we add it to the fourth input the boundary flow and we run the simulation thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel support me in patreon and join my membership have a nice day